This is Komani Lake. And this is Shower River. A hidden paradise that's straight out of a fairy tale. Crystal clear waters, dramatic mountains and untouched nature. One might easily forget that they are not somewhere in Southeast Asia, but in Europe. We are actually in the heart of the Albanian Alps. Let me share with you some stunning views and the finest tips to make the most of your trip here. Good morning from beautiful Duras, Albania. I am Christy and I am thrilled to have you join me on this adventure to Kumani Lake and Chala River. Having my second home here in Duras, I have spent a couple of summers here and let me tell you, Northern Albania holds a special place in my heart because of its incredible nature. We are all set and packed for our overnight trip and ready to explore. So let's hit the road! It takes around 3 hours by car to get from Duras to Komani Lake. Driving in Albania means seeing this guy selling rabbits and puppies by the road or witnessing dogs getting VIP trunk seats with a panoramatic view. We just arrived and we had to park our car in front of the tunnel that is 460 meters long and at the end of the tunnel is a place where all the ferries are. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of spooky. I'm pretty sure there are pets flying around us, but we need to make it. Can we just stay We are about to hop on one of these boats to reach our charming lakeside accommodation that is only accessible by water. The boat rides to our accommodation took about an hour. We admired the turquoise waters of Komani Lake. At first it felt like we were in Thailand or Vietnam. Then as the mountains grew it suddenly felt like we were in the Italian Dolomites. We have made it to our home for tonight and these views simply took my breath away. I already know I will not want to leave tomorrow, so let's enjoy this place to the fullest. First thing we had to do when we got to the lake was to check out the water. We walked on the cutest wooden hanging bridge, which was a bit challenging, but it led us to a stunning secluded sun deck that felt like it was hidden from the rest of the world. Swimming in the Komani lake was on my bucket list and I can finally cross it off. All the people from the day trips are already gone, so we have this paradise just for ourselves. It was just us swimming in the water surrounded by cliffs. It's just so peaceful and quiet. I really needed this. For dinner we had freshly caught fish from the lake and some grilled veggies with the best view possible. Then we just sat by the candle, discussing how lucky we were that this got to be our day. Good morning from this incredible paradise. We woke up to the sound of the birds. Then we got out of bed and the first thing we saw was this incredible lake that we had just for ourselves for a couple of minutes before the world woke up. Today we're going to enjoy to the fullest. We're gonna rent kayaks, we're gonna go to the Shala River, but first before breakfast, let's take a swim. Good morning everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna take a bit less invasive approach. For breakfast we got traditional Albanian petula, fried dough that can be eaten savory with cheese or sweet with jam. It is delicious. We are about to hop on a kayak, but first let me introduce you properly to this amazing place. Lake Komane is often called the Thailand of Europe and that is because the water is so green and blue, such a beautiful color and you are surrounded with these cliffs that make you feel that you are about to be served pad thai. 
So let's explore the heart of the lake from our kayak. And now it's time to say thank you to the sponsor of the video, NordVPN. And for that, I am back in the rest soaking up the sun and sea and of course making the most of my work time too. Now traveling is amazing, but there is one thing to remember when you are hopping from one Wi-Fi to another and that is staying safe online. And that's when NordVPN comes in. With just one click I can become safer online, whether I'm sitting here sipping my tea or catching up on some work in a cozy hotel. NordVPN is like my digital bodyguard. It keeps all my data secure and it ensures it never gets exposed by accident. And here is a major travel hack for you. Using VPN you can actually save tons of money on your trips. By connecting to servers in different countries you can sometimes book a flight, rent a car or reserve a hotel at cheaper rates. Prices vary depending on where you are browsing from. So next time you are looking for a great hotel deal, give it a try. It's like hitting a jackpot in the travel casino. Even though I am miles away from home, NordVPN lets me stay virtually in my country so I can keep up with my favorite TV shows and never miss a beat. This is the fastest VPN on planet, so I never have to worry about lag. Whether I am just browsing or uploading my videos on YouTube, everything runs smoothly. And there is one more awesome feature by Nord Security that you just have to know about and that is their new Sale eSIM. Download your eSIM and get connected online as soon as you step off the airplane in a new country. No more annoying waiting in a line for a local SIM. So if you want to travel like a pro and stay safe while doing it, check out NordVPN using my link that you can also find below in the description box. You will get 4 extra months on their 2 year plan and they are also throwing in up to 20 GB of Sale eSIM data. All that is totally risk free with their 30 day money back guarantee. What's not to laugh? Seriously give it a try. Whether you are a digital nomad or you are just planning your next vacation, NordVPN has got you covered. And now back to exploring Komani Lake. I feel like every time we're renting a kayak we are going through the ultimate couple test. Everyone who rented one of these with their better half knows what I'm talking about. Every tandem kayak has one person doing all the work and the other whose job is to look pretty. So far we're doing great, right honey? Best. Best. <laughs> now with all seriousness kayaking is an incredible way to explore the lake. Lake Komane is actually an artificial lake. Even though this breathtaking place was created by humans, it doesn't feel that way at all. It is secluded and wild. The water is insanely clear and look at the cliffs rising straight up from the water. And also listen to the sounds. I love it here. We have made it into a cave and look at the reflection of the water beautifully glittering on the walls. This is magical. And now is the moment to board a boat that will take us to the famous Shala River. After 15 minutes of passing through the most beautiful turquoise water, we have finally arrived. The Shala River flows into Komani Lake. The boats will drop you off at the stunning river beach where the water is the clearest I have ever seen and the surroundings are magnificent. And well, it definitely wasn't just us. We've made it to Shala River. This is definitely not an untouched nature. It is very touristy. There are river beaches, there are bars, there are restaurants, there's loud music, but it is very beautiful. The river is crystal clear. We're just gonna enjoy it. We're gonna go with the flow. Going for a swim is a must here, but Shala River is freakishly cold. Really, really cold. Without a doubt, it is super crowded here, but there are so many things you can do. You can rent a kayak, there's even a short zip line, but yeah, I think it kind of lost this natural vibe. There is the most famous bridge here and in the morning there was a huge line to get on that bridge because there was a maximum of 20 people allowed on that bridge and it was pure madness. You just need to adjust a bit your expectation when you come here. You cannot think that I'm gonna see this beautiful nature without any people. It's gonna be so quiet here and beautiful. No, this is a party place, really. They are serving mojitos here. They are playing loud, popular music. You just have to go with the flow. 
There are plenty of lunch options by the river. We got some delicious soup and make sure to try their freshly caught lake fish. They are absolutely delicious here. If you continue against the stream up by the river, you will get to a place where you are not alone, but you are pretty close to it. And the river here is still beautiful, still very clear, but not without the crowds, not without the music, and you can enjoy the nature. We are about to say goodbye to Shallow River. It was a bit different than I expected to be, but we had still so much fun. The good thing is that the day is not over yet. A month ago I released full travel guide on how to travel Albania, which you can watch right here. And one of the viewers, actually more of them, wrote me that I missed one important place in Albania, which is Škoder, a city located an hour and a half from Lake Komani. I promised to my viewer that I will visit this place and I tend to keep my promises. So that is where we are heading right now. Just at the edge of Škoder is the Messi Bridge. It has beautiful backgrounds with all the mountains, but there is supposed to be a turquoise river running below the bridge, which is not the case. The river is completely dry. There is no turquoise water, but it is still very stunning. We've made it to Škoder. This is one of the oldest cities in whole Europe. And the most important thing to visit here is the Rozafa Castle that is dating back to the Illyrian period. When you reach the top of the castle, there is a beautiful view of the city and the Škoder Lake. Now, would you like to hear the bizarre legend that is connected to this castle? Of course you would. So, let me tell you, there were three brothers building this huge castle and they would always work during the day and the walls that they built would always collapse during the night. So they visited a wise man and this wise man told them that they should wall in one of their wives. So one of the wives sacrificed herself and let them wall her in, but only half of the body, so the other half could still be there for her infant son. It is bizarre, isn't it? Koder itself is a very beautiful city to explore and walk around. I especially love this gorgeous mosque. This is what I love about Albania. It is very tolerant about all religions. So right here you can see beautiful mosque and behind it you can see beautiful church. And a pro tip for incredible food, we came across this restaurant in the center with sensational pizza. So give it a try. So this was the northern part of Albania that I missed in my previous travel guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I hope it inspires your next travels. I'm gonna see you in the next video.